Hello again. I'm going to do a series of short videos, short vlogs, to keep your attention because I know people don't like things too long. And I'm going to look at certain verses that are taken out of context. Because context is everything. Whenever you hear a verse being quoted in a particular situation, you have to know the context it was written in and know if it's been applied properly. The first one I'm going to look at is this one that everyone loves. I can do all things through him who gives me strength. Or I can do everything through him who strengthens me. Whatever version you look at. The NIV is, I can do all this through him who gives me strength. So in that there's, what is this he's talking about? If we look at the verses before that, I'm not saying this because I am in need. For I have learned to be content, whatever the circumstances. I know what it is to be in need. I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want. I can do all this through him who gives me strength. This is so often used by people, particularly like sort of prosperity preachers, who try to make out that anything you want, anything you want to achieve, you can do it because you can do all things through him who strengthens you. But the thing to note here in the context that Paul writes this, he's talking about whether he is well fed or whether he's hungry. Even in times when you feel that God isn't providing for you, you can be content. What a secret to learn. And what Paul is saying is I can do all this through Christ who strengthens me. Put it even in better context. This was written by Paul when he was in prison. In chains in a prison. Probably in a dark cell. Probably in a toilet needs in a bucket in the corner. Being thrown some bread and wine probably just to feed him. Locked up, cooked up in a prison. Being persecuted because he followed the way of Jesus. And what he says is, I can do all this. I can get through all this. I can still be content, whatever I'm facing. It's about suffering. It's about whenever things go bad. You can get through it. It's not about, I want to do something, therefore Christ will give me the strength. I mean, I could say, I want to be a Formula One driver. Even though I'm 55 years of age, and I only drove a racing car once when I was 40. No, no, I'm going to do it. I'm going to get in the Formula 1. I'm going to, I'm going to be a Formula 1. I can do this through Christ who strengthens me. Catch a grip. It's not about achieving dreams. I'm not saying that God can't give you your dreams. As long as you're walking in his will. But what Paul's saying in this, in context, is whatever I go through, however bad it is, I can get through it. Because he strengthens me. It's not about achieving your dreams or fighting your wealth. All right, Creflo? As long as you got that. So we'll do a few more of these as time goes on. Keep an eye out for them. Plenty of verses we take out of context and we get them wrong. So, it's always, ever, only, forever. Jesus. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell icon below if you want notifications of any new vlogs I'm making. Here's a couple here that you can sample. There's also a link below to my blog website where I've been writing blogs for a number of years on various topics if you like reading some things. And I hope to see you again next time. Okay.